Have you ever wondered how much money zero waste living can actually save you? Well, we're going to break it down today with these top 10 swaps that will save you money. And again, this is just 10 swaps. This is going to be a series, so subscribe and stay along if you wanna learn more about how much money you can save by living zero waste. Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all sorts of things zero waste, but I do focus on free, easy, and fun ways to live zero waste. My favorite series of all time is Zero Waste on a Budget, which you can check out above and below. And today we're actually going to break down what these zero waste swaps can save you over the long run. Specifically for today, focusing on the course of just one year. Just know that these are all hypothetical. These are based on the averages that I could find on Google for how much people consumed. We are going at the end to have a bottom dollar and a top dollar amount that you can save using these swaps. But you know, so you might use a little bit more of these things. You might use a little bit less. This is just an average and hypothetical. So keep that in mind. First up is a reusable coffee cup. Let me go get mine. So with these, you really don't even need a real actual coffee cup like mine. Dan just uses an old hydro flask. We either found this at the thrift store or in the trash. I'm not even kidding. This was free or very low cost. You can go thrift something. You don't have to buy a fancy new cup like I did for about probably about $20. So they're, they're pretty cheap, but for the most money savings, shop secondhand. And now this does depend on the coffee shop. Some coffee shops don't add any discount when you use your reusable coffee cup, but I've seen some give a 10 cent discount, a 10% discount. I've even seen some give up to a dollar discount, which is crazy. This example, we're gonna say, I go out to get coffee twice a week. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but for this example, two times a week. And let's say you just save an average of 50 cents because some coffee shops are more, some are less. An average of 50 cents per time that you use Use your reusable coffee cup. Sometimes they'll also give you a double cup discount. So let's just say it's $1 a week per savings. That's $52 a year by using your own reusable coffee cup. Moving on to a reusable bag. A lot of US states now are doing a bag tax, making it, I don't know, between five and 10 cents per plastic bag that you use. And also some grocery stores will also discount you if you bring your reusable grocery bags. I know Sprouts did this when we lived in Las Vegas. They actually gave us 10 cents off per bag that we use. So either way, you're, you're saving 10 cents per bag on average if you have the bag tax. So let's say that you go to the grocery store once a week and you use five reusable bags. That's 50 cents per grocery trip or $26 per year. That one doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise they get better from here. Moving on to a trusty reusable water bottle. Bottled water can get expensive. I'm talking six to $20 per pack of 40 bottles. And again, it might not seem like that much up front, but if one person is drinking two bottles per day, which they're honestly probably drinking more because that's only 32 ounces, which means a pack of 40 will last one person three weeks. Keep in mind, just one person, not a household of two or three or more people. Just go ahead and round it up. So for one person, one person needs one pack of 40 water bottles every month or 12 packs per year, which depending on the brand would cost 36 to $240. And again, that's probably on the low end. I would imagine people are probably buying more bottled water than that. But if you use a reusable water bottle and you fill it at home, it's essentially free, unless you buy the reusable water bottle. This one was gifted to me for Christmas. But again, you can just go thrift one as well. Yes, you pay for a water bill, but you're certainly not drinking $240 worth of water when you're filling your water bottle at home. I just don't think that's even possible. So accounting for the price of an average $30 water bottle, you'll be saving six to $200 per year, depending on the brand. During the day, make sure you're turning off the lights and just open the windows and use natural lighting. I normally do, except I'm filming. So lighting accounts for 20% of the average person's electricity bill, but let's strive to make that lower. So that's about $200 per year, just in turning on the lights. And that was when this article was written in 2016. That was eight years ago, so surely by now it's more expensive, especially I know everything is inflated right now for no reason. Mochi's upset about inflation too. But let's just say it's around $300 these days to light your home for 365 days. Even if you reduce your lighting from 20% to 19%, you'll be saving $15. So I challenge you to reduce your light usage by 5% and you can save up to $75 by doing this. Learn more about energy conservation in this video. Moving on to period underwear. Right off the bat, this one will save you money, but it probably won't start making you money until year two. But let's get into it and explain why. That's because they are the most expensive zero waste swap because you need multiple pair of them. You can't just use one, but they'll still save you so much money. On average, period underwear costs around $20. The average cycle lasts six days and you need at least two pair of period underwear to get you through, but I do recommend three or more just for the ease of it. And I explain more about that in this video. So let's say you buy three pair, again, on the low end, totaling $60. For comparison, pads cost eight to $10 for a pack of 42. The average person uses 20 to 30 pads per cycle. So that's 60 to $80 max a year on disposables for the pad versus period underwear option. So period underwear will pay itself off within the first 10 to 12 months, but they might start saving you money towards the end of the year. But in year two, you will be saving 60 to $80 per year 
and so on for all the years after that. If you're interested more in zero waste period career, I have a full zero waste period playlist that you can check out above and below. Okay, let's move on to a menstrual disc or a menstrual cup because this one truly does have a lot of savings. And that's because you just need one menstrual cup or one menstrual disc and not several different ones. So the average cost of a cup or a disc will probably also run about $20. On the other hand, tampons are around eight to $16 for a box of 36, depending on the brand. The average person uses 20 to 30 tampons per cycle, making the total for the year 80 to $150. That means that a menstrual cup or disc will pay itself off in just one two months and then start to save you money for the rest of time and these things literally last 10 or more years this one has crazy crazy money savings so subtracting the cost of the disc or the cup you will be saving 130 dollars per year in the first year and then 150 dollars per year all the years after that this year i encourage you to ditch paper towels the cheapest option here is to just use what you already have use some old dingy rags cut up an old t-shirt and use that as cleaning rags and paper towels but there are options that you can buy like marley's monsters on paper towels but I'm always gonna stick with the free option and I encourage you to do the same too. They don't need to be cute, they just need to be practical. So let's say you do this totally for free. The average American uses 145 rolls of paper towels per year. The average cost per roll is two to four dollars, meaning a total cost of around 250 to $600 per year on paper towels. That's crazy. A product that you're just gonna throw away. Honestly, all of these. All of these are products that you're gonna spend $600 on and then throw them away. And if you make these rags by yourself or you just use rags you already have, that's pure savings. So you can save between $250 and $600 per year by using reusable rags. Similar to that is reusable tissues. I know not everybody's on the hanky train, but maybe you will after you figure out these savings. This is again, another one that you can easily make yourself out of old t-shirts. Just cut them into squares and use those as hankies and reusable tissues. That's what I do. But if you are looking for a paid option, I do also really like Bodhi. They're super, super soft. They have a nice little carrying case. But again, let's just say we use the free option for maximum money saving. The average person in 2020 used two boxes of tissues per month, but some people used up to eight boxes per month. The cost is around $150 to $4 per box, depending on the brand. That means it would cost three to eight dollars per month or 36 to 96 dollars per year. Once again, if you make them for free, that's pure savings, 36 dollars to 96 dollars per year. Okay, this one's gonna take a little bit of an explanation and that's because we have several different things to go over and that is how you do your coffee at home. If you do go out to get coffee, again, bring your reusable coffee cup for a little bit of savings and maximum waste benefits, but making your own coffee at home can have crazy, crazy money savings. First, a French press or an espresso machine is a truly zero waste way to go. The only thing that you will have to dispose of is the grounds, which make great fertilizer in your compost. The French press is a much cheaper option, so we're going to dive into that today. If you want me to dive into the espresso option, let me know as well. But for now, we're focusing on the French press versus K-cups, a Keurig. So I bought my French press for $20 used, but average cost for a new one is $40, which is pretty good price. Also, I didn't include the original cost of a Keurig on here, but we're still gonna see crazy money savings, so let's just keep going. Now, all you need to buy for a French press is the grounds. There's no filter, no cups, no nothing, just the grounds. Now for K-cups. A box of K-cups costs around $40 for a pack of 72, making that five packs a year if you only drink one cup of coffee per day. But most people drink more than that and or they live with a family that drinks more than that. So just for the sake of this example, we're going to double that, two cups of coffee per day, 10 packs of K-cups per year, cost $400. Now let's look at coffee grounds just to keep things fair. I wasn't really sure how much coffee grounds cost. I'm not really an at-home coffee drinker. But on the cheap end, something like uh, Folgers will come in at around $10 for 90 servings. You can already see how much money you're gonna save with this one. Two cups of coffee per day for 365 days would be $80 plus the cost of the 20 to $40 French press. So the cheap coffee route would cost you around $280 to $300. But let's say you want something a little higher end, a little uh, something locally made, something artisanal. It might cost you 12 to $30 for an eight ounce bag, which is 72 servings like the K-Cups, which again is still cheaper. And that would cost you 120 to $300 per year, plus the cost of the French press. You would still be saving 60 to $260 per year with high-end coffee. And of course, this prevents so much waste. K-cups are not recyclable, if you didn't know. And our last one for today is a library card. And again, another free one. So this is pure savings. It's such an underrated zero waste swap because now you don't have to buy books, you don't have to buy movies, you don't have to buy games, you can just borrow them all. It also prevents everyone who's using the library from buying that book. Let's look at The Hunger Games, for example, a very popular book. If 1,000 people decided to borrow it from their library, that's 1,000 three set books that no longer have to be created. That's so many trees that don't have to be cut down, so many books that don't have to be shipped. It really does save a lot of waste. And of course, it's saving you money, the point of this video. Let it say that you read one book per week or 52 books per year. If you borrow them all, that means you don't have to spend any money on 52 books. The average book costs $15. Of course, some are more, some are less, but that means on average, you can save $780 per year just by borrowing books. 
And again, a library card is totally free. Now, if you still like to own your own books and you don't wanna borrow, you wanna keep them for yourself, I highly recommend thrift books. They're usually around half the price and of course less waste because they are secondhand. Okay, it's time for the grand total for just these 10 swaps, keep in mind. So a reusable coffee cup is $52. Reusable grocery bags are $26. Reusable water bottle, depending on the brand, is six to two hundred dollars. Reducing your light usage by five percent is seventy-five dollars. Food underwear in the first year is zero dollars, but every year after that is around a hundred dollars of savings. A menstrual cup or a menstrual disc is one hundred and thirty dollars. Rags are between two hundred and fifty and six hundred dollars. That one surprised me. I didn't think that one would be the, the highest. Reusable tissues are thirty-six to ninety-six dollars. A French press is between sixty and three hundred dollars per year. The library card is $780. That makes a grand total between $1,415 and $2,359. That is crazy savings for just these 10 swaps. Just 10. There are so many more swaps that I could dive into, so let me know if you want me to make a second part to this series probably a third, probably a fourth part because there's so many swaps to go over. I am so excited for this series. I'm really glad I thought of this idea. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you're on the fence about zero waste, let this be your sign to live zero waste. Live zero waste selfishly. If you don't wanna do it for the planet, fine. Hopefully you begin to care for the planet later. But if you wanna do it for selfish reasons, I don't blame you. There are so many ways that living a budget life can also be an eco life and how an eco life can also be a budget life. They really do go hand in hand, especially the way that I do things. I don't focus a lot on swaps, but when I do, it is about the money saving aspect. And I have a full series, as I said, all about zero waste on a budget. So check that out after this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to share it with others and inspire them to live zero waste for selfish reasons. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. So I challenge your, so I would challenge you to reduce, I would challenge you to reduce your, um, so I challenge you to reduce, and the cost is around 100, $100, the cost is around 150 to $4 per box. So I bought my, I bought, so I bought, 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 bought. Here's some lore about me. Uh, I'm obsessed with homophones. Where is my list? Do I have bought? <gasps> yes. I love when I find a new one. <laughs> if you're like, you're crazy. I don't need to hear it. Anyway, let's move on.